Hi, Judy at Witch Pisscraft. Welcome to today's video, video 53, my make along. Let's make a tea cozy. So the seven months I've been on YouTube, maybe a bit longer, a few people have emailed me asking me to do a tutorial on making a tea cozy. Well, as a crafter and fairly new YouTuber, I don't know if I'm up to doing a tutorial, but my second best option was to have a tea cozy make along because they're really not that hard to make. So, how do you enter? Well, first of all, it's open worldwide. Anyone can enter because at the end of the make along, there will be one mystery prize pack for one lucky person picked at random. It won't be the best or the worst tea cozy. It'll just be picked at random. I will pay for standard postage to that winner's country, but I won't be liable for any fees or import duties charged by that country. So there is a little prize pack. It will have yarn. The price pack will depend on the number of people who enter the make along. So first of all, you must be a subscriber to this channel so that I know you found out about the make along from here. You then head on over to my Facebook page, Judy at Witch Peace Craft, and follow me there. So you make your tea cozy, ta -da! you take a photo and you post it on my Facebook group page Judy at Witch Peace Craft Make Along Hashtag Tea Cozy. Don't worry, all this will be in the description below the video. Now, if you have trouble posting in my Facebook group page, you can email me your photo and I will post it for you. Because you must remember, this is my first make along and the first time I've set up a Facebook group page. And things are bound to go wrong. Now, if you don't want your photo posted, and you email it to me and you want to enter you can still do that but I need to see that you've made a tea cozy I will put your name into the random draw so there you have it I just want you to make a tea cozy now why a tea cozy well first of all a tea cozy is not to dress up just a boring teapot which it can it can make it look fun it does actually keep your tea warm so if you like me, like one, two, maybe three cups, it keeps your tea warm and it also makes your teapot look nice. Whether it's made of wool or acrylic. Loose leaf tea to me tastes better than tea bags. That's just my opinion. It's also financially better. It's more value for money in loose leaf tea. The loose leaves you go, what do you do with them? Well, they can go in your compost heap, your worm farm, because unlike coffee granules, you shouldn't put those in your worm farm, but you can put tea leaves. And if you grow herbs, herbs love tannin, which tea leaves are full of. So you can just pour it straight onto your herb garden. It won't hurt it. So loose leaf tea is a better option, I think, to tea bags. And it always tastes nice. What yarn do you use? You can use any yarn, cotton, acrylic, pure wool. And the beauty of a tea cozy, you can use scrap yarn or one skein. It's a little bit of a stash buster, which I'd like you to do. Don't go out and buy a new yarn, use what you have. What else have I got in my notes? So you post your photo, right. So today is the 5th of October, it's Saturday here in Australia, and it opens today. And we'll close it on Saturday the 9th of November at 11.59pm. That's the last time you can post a photo to my Facebook group page to be eligible to enter the make along and be part of the random winner pick. I'll do the draw on Sunday the 10th of November. I've given it a bit of a month. It's, they're not that hard to make, but if you're a beginner, it might take you time to get your head around it. So let me give you a few tips. Well, first of all, a tea cozy can be for any size teapot. And you're going to say, I don't have a teapot. Well, I picked this baby up from a charity or thrift shop for like five bucks. So I suggest you go to a charity or a thrift shop, support them and buy a teapot. Any size, any shape. I picked this up, Big Brown Betty for three bucks at a charity shop. I picked 
I'll just lift that up. This is a little Chinese teapot, two bucks from a buyback shop. And this, which I think is really cute, for two bucks at a car boot sale. So there you have it. You don't have to go to the shop and buy a brand new teapot. You can pick them up cheap at a charity shop and you're supporting the charity. So tips on how to make it. Well, first of all, I have to find one of my tape measure. I can't take the lid off that. We'll do this one. This teapot is my little brown Betty. It's over 40 years old and it's very, very much treasured. It was a gift from my mum for my kitchen tea before I got married. And yes, I do use it on special occasions when I'm feeling a little blue and when I think of my mum. But yes, we'll measure this one. So basically, to give you an indication of size and stitches, you measure the length and then you go around the fattest part. Now, if that seems a bit quick, there are some um, measuring ideas for your teapot and I'll put them in the description before. Or you can follow the link to the web and check them out. That'll help you with how to make your tea cosy. What else do you need to know? Not a lot. They can be made in two parts whether it's knitted or crocheted and stitched together. I always put like a single finished crochet around the edges of the spout and the handle just to finish it off. This is the scallop tea cozy. Very, very popular. Has a drawstring and room for the knob on the lid of the teapot if yours has a little knob. I'll put some free patterns. Let me see. I've made heaps. So I've made Doctor Who's TARDIS tea cozy. I'm not sure if that's a free pattern, but I'll put a link. This is the chevron one I just showed you. I sort of showed you. The teapot's not the right size for it. I've made it in the rainbow colours and I've put little smiley buttons around it. It needs, it's got a hole for the lid. It needs a bigger teapot. Um, I don't know how many I've sold at craft markets. This is the beehive of this one. It's very popular. It's knitted. It's double thick. And -da, it's my go-to Christmas tea cozy. I sell a lot in green. I don't sell that many in silver. But I use that pattern. And that's what the beauty of tea cozy patterns are. You can vary them. Um, what else have I got? This is great. I've done it different ways, rainbow colours. This is a Yarn Inspirations one, except they leave the top loose. I actually attach it. This is a Jacob's Ladder crochet pattern. Uh, done that one. Now, where is it? I had a request to make a Vegemite tea cozy, and my son did the graph for me, and I made that. So you can even graft your own and make some sort of novelty tea cozy that way. I've had this one in my patterns for a while. I'm getting more and more detailed and um, I may give this a try this year or maybe next year. But this is Miss Bunny. She has an apron and everything. This one's quite involved. So I'll leave some links to some free patterns to get you started for you to check out some easy free patterns. And um, yeah, give it a go. I showed you this one in two parts knitted. When I went to Crafts Alive, I was talking to the ladies at the Country Women's Association and they were saying if you enter theirs, it has to be double knit. It has to be, like, you can pull it apart. That's one side. It has to be double knitted. They didn't say anything. I don't think they even do crocheted ones. And I'm giving this a go. Not the best colours, but I didn't want to waste yarn. So this is some charity yarn I had that was quite cheap and I thought I'd give it a go. So I'll let you know how the finished product goes. But I just wanted to see what double knitting is. So basically, you have to, but you're not knitting them together. You like knit the first two 
curl the next one, knit the next one, and as you rotate. Now I've made it hard for myself by doing stripes. They suggested beginner do two colours and just knits up so that, you know, one side is yellow, one side is red. But that's a bit more complicated and something I decided to do this week. I have a charity stall next week. Um, I sell a lot of tea cozies this time of year. They make great Christmas gifts. I can sell anywhere between 5 to 25 tea cozies depending on the weather. So, yeah, if you haven't thought about them for a Christmas gift, give them a go. I've made, remember my fox one? Well, he goes tomorrow. The guy's picking him up. Um, what else is there? Let me have a look. Oh, my easy go-to one, if you're not sure it's going to fit, knitted rib cupcake. This is so easy and I make a lot of these and sell them because people go, they can stretch to fit or they can stay and I make them different lengths. And sometimes I'll do like the cake and I'll do frosting and get carried away. But I do sell quite a few of these as gifts at Christmas time on my store because they're stretchy and they fit most teapots. You can make a tea cozy for any size. You can make it little you can make it medium betty anything you can make it flat lid you can make it button lid i have a herbal teapot for my herbal teas this one because it has the strainer in there and i like to keep my herbal tea separate from my black tea and you can make it for this style i've actually made a plunger coffee pot warmer too for different people who want to keep their plunger coffee warm so there you have it. This week I've been making quite a few. I've nearly finished an owl one. I've got a pumpkin one to make for someone. And while I was rummaging around in my stash, which is like one big corner of my bedroom and all drawers all over the house, this one ball of yarn kept turning up. It was either on the floor or on the cupboard and it's like it didn't want to stay in there. And I've had it for about four years, I think. It was Bernay Pop. So I bought a tea cozy pattern book when I watched Jank or others and I got into that pattern book and made this one now I did color control it this one I think the pattern was for cherries it was white with red cherries I made it in this and it can be called blueberries but yeah it's knitted and it's knitted in the round so you can do it that way or you can knit two individual pieces crochet two individual pieces this is individual pieces so yeah there you go you get as creative and make it as hard or easy as you want i've made animal tea cozies what i'll do at the end of this video i'll put a bit of a photo and montage of a few of the tea cozies i've made and sold over the last few years so guys, I hope you join my make along. It could be a lot of fun. It might take you out your comfort zone if you've never made one. You're going to be, don't buy yarn. Use your stash yarn or your scraps. Let's bust a bit out of the stash and support a charity. Buy a small teapot. Have a go. Don't forget, I'm going to love looking at your photos because I want to see how creative you get. Now, one of the most creative people, I think her name is... is Loani Pryor. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce her first name. She is the queen of tea cozies in Queensland. She has a lot of pattern books. She's really creative. I'd love to be that good. And maybe I might put a, on my Christmas wish list one of her pattern books. I don't usually buy a lot of patterns, but I really do like her pattern books. So there you have it, guys. My first ever make along. Let's hope it goes smoothly. Um, Let's hope it doesn't upset anyone. <laughs> yes, I do. I do have a little teapot collection. I'm not getting carried away. I bought this one. They don't get used. They're in my china cabinet. This, <coughs> sorry, I still have the chest bug, is coral. And I bought this in China on my trip to China. You know I visit my son a lot in London. <coughs> sorry. And who doesn't, if you go to London, you've got to go to Harrods. And I bought this. This is actually really expensive. It's a Royal Albert teapot. And maybe one day, I'll, if I have a high tea, I might use this. 
And on my recent trip to Bruges, Belgium, there was one shop directly opposite the Belgium chocolate shop that made a humongous array of teapots. And for some reason, and it's pretty ugly, my husband said, it's really ugly. I was drawn to this one and I bought this one in Bruges and brought it back. In hindsight, it was probably a little heavy. I could have gone smaller. But there are three that just sit in my china cabinet. My sister collects teapots. I lost count of how many she's got. And some of them are extremely expensive. So, But me, I like to hunt through charity and thrift shops and come up with, you know, old brown beddies, pre-loved. And I use them on my displays at the charity market stall to show the tea cozies off have like a an array hopefully I'll take a photo next week if the charity store goes ahead and show you my display of tea cozies and that's what attracts the people to the store um, last year a lot was sold for secret Santas people thought you know they were great for secret Santas but hey if you know someone who likes drinking loose leaf tea in a teapot make them a tea cozy as a Christmas gift so to my loyal subscribers, thanks for sticking with me and subscribing and watching what goes on on my videos. And if you're new to the channel, please consider joining the Make Along. Subscribe and check out my other videos. It would be appreciated. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you're going to join the Make Along or you're considering it. You're giving it some thought. I'd like to get an idea of how many people really interested in having a go at making a tea cozy so there you have it even crocheted ones madonna ballad you can make a crocheted one you don't have to knit it that's a private joke <laughs> thanks for watching until next time have a crafty day take care of each other and stay tuned for my tea cozy photo montage bye for now